Yo, what up guys? Dorian from NJ Bike Life here. Spending a lot of time out in the woods with this bike. Been exploring like everything with VJ. Which I'm glad because nobody else that's part of like the Grom squad like Gabe and Gio and all them have really been coming out on the Groms, you know? Gio's got that big bike so he doesn't have a, really a reason to be out on these kind of bikes. And uh, Gabe just picked up a bigger bike, so he's uh, doing a lot of things with that bike. So it's pretty much just been me and VJ, and I'm happy that VJ got the dirt tires on his bike because at least we can get out and ride a little bit. So I put the fluffy dead cat mic on here, so you shouldn't hear me breathing as much, but you might still hear me breathing, so I'm over it. If you're not, I'm over you not being over it, but I tried to make that sound a little bit better. Stay lost and stop for a bus with flashing flashers. This guy was giving away like free wood or something like that. They've been working on this house forever. But uh, yeah, me and VJ have been hitting the woods a lot. He's working today, so I did a lot of errands this morning, like with my cars and my truck and things like that um, it was pretty cool the last week I didn't get really much footage because we were, we were like working on VJ's new bike a lot and all this other stuff but last week I rode every single one of my bikes I rode the Honda VTX I rode the Grom and I rode the FZ6 and it felt like awesome going from all three bikes like there's something I love in each one of those bikes and I don't see myself getting rid of any of them anytime soon I mean, it's, it's possible, but I just I just really enjoy what each bike has to offer. You know, the big bike, I can ride with my girlfriend on the back. That's no issue at all. The FC6 is just a smooth, comfortable highway bike that you don't really have to worry about anything. And uh, this bike, like I said, me and VJ spent a lot of time out in the woods. So this is like definitely my dirt bike. And we've been working on this a lot too. I don't know if you guys can notice. If you didn't notice, I'd be pretty surprised. But I did put the FMF full exhaust system on this bike. I do have the Renthal bars, Renthal grips. I mean, Pro Taper bars, Pro Taper grips. Um, probably the best mod that I did was this bell. It says Let's Ride on it. You probably can't see it, but it says Let's Ride with two fists like this. Makes me, it makes me feel a little bit cooler. So, another thing with this bike now is that I am looking currently actively for rear suspension and front suspension. The last time I put the OLED suspension on the front, it was like 225 bucks, $40 for the oil. And like, it, it was okay for what it was. But, I have a friend that said he was going to hook me up for 150 to swap my current stock forks for his forks. Plus uh, 150 on top, which I think is an awesome deal. But he's just so busy that like I haven't really had a time to really meet up with him. So, I don't know if the front fork deal is going to actually fall through or not. And um, the rear shock, you can get it from Tommy Davis. Everyone in the world can get it. 180 shipped. But... I know there's got to be cheaper ones out there. I keep messing with VJ because now he got the bigger bike and his girl's starting to like riding a little bit more. I keep messing with him saying that I'm going to uh, take all his parts off of his bike when he decides to sell the ground because he's going to have to buy a bigger bike for the two of them. I had to get another clutch cable for this bike. I think... Um, I think I have to move the brake lever a little bit closer because the clutch is all the way out here and the cable has a little bit more slack. So, I don't know if I have to, I mean, I, I have a strong feeling that I'm gonna have to add another, um, I'm gonna have to move this suspension over to not have the clutch get pinched because the clutch was getting pinched down here on the bottom by um, where the steering dampers are so you don't bottom your handlebars out. It got pinched so much that it actually went through the 
the boot, it went through the uh, like nylon or whatever it is material that's over the clutch, and it went like through to where I could actually see like the steel braiding on the inside of the clutch line. So I definitely need to get rid of that. It feels like now that I'm coming back into the Grom game, a lot of the Grom people that I was supposed to be riding with and that are diehard Grom people seem to be getting out of the Grom game. Uh, I think as long as VJ has his dirt tires on, I'll be good. Cause we're having a blast hitting the woods, man. We were out in Collier's last night for like three hours, just ripping around the woods. I didn't get any footage, and as I'm like, as we're riding like these ridiculous trails with all this mud and stuff like that, I'm thinking to myself, I have the GoPro, why am I not recording? But I looked at the GoPro this morning when I woke up, right before I did this video, and they, uh, they had no battery at all. I turned it on and it turned right back off, so that's, that's why I wasn't recording, in case you guys were wondering. I miss out on so much footage, man. I, I ride so much that I could probably make like 10 videos a week but I just I don't want to bore you guys with the same old vlogs that everybody else in the world has I feel like you need something special in order to get some good solid footage of stuff but if you guys are interested in just daily vlogs observations things like that I mean maybe I'll maybe I'll start recording the stuff that we do just to me, it gets boring. I mean, not, I can't see a lot of people liking just riding around and talking, you know. I'm not that entertaining of a person. This new FMS sounds so sick, man. I'm happy that I put this system on. I got it for a really good price, and down the road, I could definitely flip it for what I paid for it. So, I'm happy with that if I ever do decide to part this bike out. <laughs> I looked I looked down from my rear view to see if my rear view if they were looking at me looking all silly with my bell and I don't even have mirrors this guy just like this guy doesn't have a blinker his blinker or his overhead light. Shout out to Utiliquest for being one of the dopest companies out there. Said no one ever. One of those dope trails back there. No trespassing right off the bat. But there's definitely trails back there. This bike definitely is not as fast as my other bike was. But, again, I only have 657 miles on it right now at this time of this video. And, uh, it definitely takes a good amount of time before you can actually get the power out of the bike before it breaks in. I did do the first oil change. Shout out to VJ for letting me borrow his oil. Well, let me use his oil because he ain't getting it back. And, uh, yeah, definitely improved the bike a little bit. Made it a lot more quieter and idle. And, um, I did put the updated clutch springs in this bike also so that it has a lot more response time. As far as that clutch action goes. Uh, like I said, I, I did mess the clutch cable up a little bit, so I think that did affect a little bit of clutch play that I was having. But I'm happy with the way the clutch is now. I set, it, I set these adjustable things all the way out to like the very edge. So that like it pretty much is responsive like as soon as I let go of the clutch, which is nice. I don't think this, other than the suspension, I'm not really doing anything else to this bike. I'm having way too much fun beating it up right now. Uh, if I if I did put a suspension on it, I don't think 
if I did do anything else to it, I don't think it would really affect the bike at all. You know, like I didn't do a, I didn't do a intake mod because all I did was the airbox mod, and I'm feeling a lot of bottom end power, like additional. And I don't hear the bike popping and stuff. The only thing I didn't do was check the spark plug to see if I'm running rich or lean, but I'm not too worried about that to be honest because these bikes naturally run lean and they seem to operate pretty well when they run lean. But all these woods back here have really nice trails that are like really perfect for this bike but it's a bicycle trail so we don't go on them although it would be amazing to ride the Grom out on those bicycle trails because they are that nice but they get really really upset if you do that kind of stuff so so don't do it but that's a Lair State Park property and I don't know if there's anything that actually says that you can't ride motorcycles out there but I know when people come out and they see you riding your bike, they get extremely upset. So we'll just stay away from there to avoid all of that crap. But, um, yeah. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I just wanted to do a quick putt around town. Give you a little update on the Grom. A little update on, you know, what's been going on lately. You've been seeing all the videos of me and VJ ripping it out in the woods. And me just finding, like, these random trails. So... At least I'm having a lot of fun with this pit bike that um, that they call a Grom. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.